Hi, welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate all of you. And as I build this channel, I want to thank you for being a part of everything that I've been creating, for sharing, for liking, for giving me a thumbs up, and absolutely for commenting. As we continue through this dialogue around what's changing in the world, I have quite a few different angles I want to take you through that you could use to build your business, to elevate your team, and obviously to take yourself to higher levels of awareness, um, actualization, and the fundamentals of achieving goals that you're setting for yourself. So in this particular show, I'd like to share with you why I don't use what that's called critical thinking when I'm working with an organization or a company. It simply just is steeped in an old paradigm of black or white thinking of what I often call the Newtonian physics approach to reality. And the reason that doesn't work is because in the black or white thinking, the right or wrong, the, the polar opposites of the way we're viewing the world, we actually cut ourselves off from the possibilities that could present themselves to us. And so this conversation, this particular show today is about possibility or resourceful thinking. And that is what I use when I'm helping a company scale, when I'm working with a team. And what it does is it opens up all of the possibilities that you haven't thought of yet. We don't know what we don't know. And so we repeat patterns because they're neurological pathways that we've actually created in the brain through our thoughts. So when you're focused on a thought, when you're focused on an emotion and you keep repeating it to yourself, it actually takes on a life of its own because what happens with the brain syndicate is it creates these neural pathways that then become their own thinking, if you will. The thought, you know, the thinking of the thought actually does the thinking. So when you're looking at a critical thinking model and you're trying to get down to rooting out a problem, uh, revealing a choke point, <laughs> or trying to understand why this isn't working? Why aren't we growing? Why aren't we getting what we want? Why, why are we struggling? Or, or why can't we handle what's happening? It's because we're, we're trying to fit this broad, endless, infinite experience that we are labeling based on our, our own perceptions and try to turn that into an answer. It never works. So in NLP, we have something called a nominalization. And in a nominalization, it takes into account judgment. So let's talk about judgment a little bit. Because essentially what I'm saying to you is that when you're using a critical thinking model to change something in your life or in your business or in your team or your bottom line, essentially you're coming at it from a judger perspective. Now, that sounds reasonable, right? It sounds like it's going to give you an answer. The challenge with that is when you're judging, you're actually blocking energy because we can only judge something based on our bandwidth. Now, I use the term bandwidth to describe our consciousness, our conscious awareness, our self-awareness. So whatever it is you're trying to resolve, if you're using critical thinking, you've got to come from this judger point of view. And the minute you step into judgment, you actually limit all of the possibilities 
possibilities of what you could do instead. Because we don't know what we don't know, the only way to access these higher realms of awareness, this, this uh, higher level or higher vibrational perspective is to actually come from a place of and. You know, my favorite saying is, it's not an either or, it's an and. And so when you come from a place of, instead of being the judger, you actually reach higher into a higher form of questioning. And you ask questions like, what else is possible? Or what have I not thought of yet that if I were to consider now, it would actually present a new angle to this, a new perspective. It would allow in higher level thinking that is actually more resourceful and it's steeped in possibility because we get what we focus on most of the time. Now, I know you've heard me talk about this a lot. And so what I'm seeking to do here is just kind of unpack that realm and get you into a bigger, higher level way of observing life. So you're actually reaching for a higher vibrational, higher energy answer than what you've considered in the past. And so part of this problem when we're doing the critical thinking, just even just even roll that name off of your tongue. You know, critical thinking is criticism. You have to be making something wrong before you can possibly find what works. And as I said before, what we focus on expands. So as soon as you start looking at what's wrong, the wrongness of something, the wrongness of someone, the wrongness of what you are doing, the wrongness of you, the wrongness of the world, the wrongness of the politics, you see where this goes? It's like a black hole. It will suck you in and you will get lost. And it will completely take you down this black hole of impossibility because you're in this judging mode. Because you can't look at something and, and judge it and criticize it without judging and criticizing yourself. It's impossible. We know too much now about energy to ignore this. So as you're going into this next growth phase in your life, whether it's coming up on Monday morning and you're starting a fresh week, or it's the beginning of the day and you're starting a new day, I don't care what day of the week it is, or or you're halfway through your day and your day's been bad and now you, you're seeking to create a new experience, you can start over any time. You don't need the calendar to tell you when to start over. But the nice thing about a shift in a calendar is there's a whole new energy that comes in as the numbers change too, because we are living in a mathematical universe. So for any of you that are rolling your eyes going, oh my God, she's into numerology, uh, that's okay. This might not be the channel for you um, because I use everything. I use every tool that is available to me and I don't judge any of it. See, there's coming from that critical thinking again. It's like there's parts of, of let's say numbers that resonate and don't resonate. So you take what works and, and what doesn't, you know, at the end of the day, anything you experience in life only has the meaning that you give it. So you can make it wrong, you can make it right, you can make it useful, you can make it thought provoking, you can make it inspiring, or you can make it all of the opposites of that. It's your call, because it's your reality and it's your experience. And I find that when I'm working with company leaders, team leaders, managers, C-suite, and we approach whatever their challenges are from the perspective of resourceful thinking, possibility thinking, 
asking higher vibrational questions. What is it we haven't thought of yet? Or what have we thought of, but we haven't implemented yet? Because there's a lot that is available to us that if we get into this closed state of judging, criticizing, making others wrong, looking at the shortcomings of others, then we can never possibly see the greatness. If we can't see the greatness in another, how can we possibly see the greatness in ourselves? And I feel that is the end of the cycle. That is a cycle that is ending right now as we conclude this decade. 